Family Farm Guy here and in this video we'll be looking at the update to the small flatbed auto load trailer by Mack Trucker 921 for Farming Simulator 22. This is for all platforms, PC, back and console. I'm on PS5 for this test. 19.78 megabytes to download. This is a uh, multi um, use type trailer, not just auto load trailer. Um, so let's have a look at it first of all under tools and trailers. And here we are, the small flatbed auto load trailer, $15,500, lots of different configurations. So let's have a look here. We have the flatbed and the auto load bale. So it's all in one now. And I don't remember if it was split up into many. Uh, there's been several up dates to uh, this um, series of trailers. The Changelog 2.00, it starts out with completely reworked the auto loading bale feature to be able to auto load all bales, including all of the bales from the selectable bale capacity mod. Um, so yes, now needing multiple trailers for different bales is no, no uh, longer necessary. Um, not liftable bales by the way so we have tipper we have logs we have liquids slurries uh and then a flatbed so tipper so uh, lots of different configurations no um let's see here no unrealistic capacities on this one uh what we're concentrating here is the auto load feature so we have auto load bales we have um tire selection toolbox which is just strictly everything else is we have a hitch so flat frame gooseneck and back to flat frame with rear hitch so we're going to try the flat frame one because and then we have color options um so let's just back out a, a second here and check out the slot count because i have one here trailer there we go so slot count is 13 slots let's go back there and buy a flat deck um of uh, uh, not i have the gooseneck one and i have a problem with it thus uh possibly uh there we go auto load bales with the flat deck okay so here we got some bales loaded on here i have some more bales over here and the flat deck version of it let's uh Let's hop into our truck here and load up those. Get our help window on. There we go. Because um, I want to see if it's the gooseneck that's causing the problem or something that I'm doing. Uh, because um, I don't want to give a bad report on something unless I've fully um, investigated. So L1 and square operating position. There we go. So we got eight bales on there. We should be able to unload those in the usual way. L1 and triangle, unload bales here. And yes, I'm encountering the same problem where L1 and a right stick, I cannot move the bales off. So the auto load function, it loads it fine. And um, however, there is another problem. Let's buy some more bales. These are just the standard square hay bales or bay hail square bale hay hmm uh in store like so and so nothing no lift up it's not liftable they're not weird sizes or anything it's your standard store bales and um abort unloading reset auto load operating position so uh there's 16 bales on there so you can see and uh, it says it's not full yet so I think this is where we're encountering an issue here. I have more. So I have more bales of hay and it will no longer pick up any more bales yet. It says it's only at 61%. So there's an issue there. L1 uh, triangle unload, abort unloading. No, I want to unload, but I cannot unload them. I can actually unload unload bales here there we are they're on they're on here now but we can't move them off in the usual auto load type trailer type way um, and if we drop that one off and go over to our gooseneck 
so the gooseneck trailer apparently has <clears throat> had an update um, it says it's uh, added the gamepad controls and gooseneck controls and I think that may be what's interfering here because L1 uh, nothing's moving with the gooseneck either it should be adjust be able to adjust up and down and somehow I think that's <clears throat> gooseneck adjustment is interfering with uh, the auto load um, function excuse me so let's do one last experiment here and we're gonna go buy another one with a gooseneck however it's not going to be at auto load it's going to be a tipper body with uh, the gooseneck and that does should not have any auto load function or anything like that so let's see what we get when we hook up this one right so of course a pickup truck will hook up to a gooseneck but uh, this will too of course there we go so now we have l1 and we still have the right stick saying i can do things but none of those things are doing anything l1 and right stick up and down we still have the l1 and x unfold the ramps why okay so then we can unfold ramps and put ramps and drive something up in there all right i'm uh, wondering if all these features somehow something is interfering with something else right so one more test we're gonna buy one with a tank how about a liquid tank with a gooseneck there we go that should not have any ramps or doors that open or anything like that and there we go R1 L1 we still get that same our right stick left right up down uh, we don't have the extend the ramp so that's good but this um, L1 with the right stick is still not doing anything and we have the unload here which is a bit odd yes so in conclusion something's wrong with this definitely something's wrong with the auto load bail feature and uh, there's something going on with the um well with it somehow somewhere it's not functioning properly so unfortunately i'm gonna have to say the auto load is broken and perhaps uh some of you may have some input on this uh or experience or express your <laughs> frustration with this mod perhaps um so there you go hopefully we'll get another update to fix these issues now um uh, thank you all for watching and that was the update to the small flatbed auto load trailer by mac trekker 921 thank you all for watching i'm lonely farm guy and remember it's only a game so till next time bye for now